Ooh. Hey, in New York, I'm Millie Rock. What's up? <laughs> okay. Excuse you. Could you not? Like, could you? Hello. Been living this lavish. Yes, I've been had it. I'm a real princess. These bitches is catfish. What's all that static? Catch me in traffic. Been doing this shit. My music is classic. I've been this tatted. Bitches dramatic. Fucked it up. Made it back. It's elastic. What's up, my dudes? <laughs> Today is Pi Day! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, not. But today is also my birthday. And, um, I'm going to get my tattoo today. I'm super excited. I have been very anxious to get it after I officially, like, set the appointment and got it all done. It's just been an anxious waiting game to get it. But, now... I'm about to go get it. So, uh, what I'm getting is I'm getting my birthday, which is today, March 14th, in Roman numerals. Shh, I'm recording. Woo! Okay, I'm good. Because everyone has told me, everyone has told me, like, oh, it, like, you'll be fine. It's not going to hurt. You're not getting it in, like, a sensitive spot. But, you know, I'm not a big fan of needles over here. Like, really not a big fan. I really hate shots. So, it's not a shot. It's not a shot, but it's still a needle. <laughs> so, let me tell you about my day so far. First things first. I had to wake up super early because I had school today. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, during second period, our boys basketball team did a little walk through. So they just kind of like walked through the school and like every hallway and all that jazz. Um, because they have made it to state and they are doing a tournament at Rupp Arena. So they did a little walk through, you know, everyone's yay, good job, woohoo, go get this dub, you know, things like that. And now they've left. Their game is tomorrow at 1.30. And if they win on Thursday, then they'll play Friday. If they win Friday, I'm pretty sure it just keeps going day by day until Sunday. I'm pretty sure Sunday is like the... So then in third period, nationwide, I'm pretty sure like many or most, if not all schools did this nationwide, was the walkout at 10 o'clock. Now, I'm just going to go on a little rant right now because um, it was really, really, it was really annoying to me that our school, and I'm not, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to talk. <laughs> Basically, um, our school, instead of actually walking outside because they don't trust the students, they had them walk into the gym and they made people sign up because you weren't, because if you didn't sign up, then you weren't allowed to go because they had to make sure you were still in the school building. So, my class as a whole, the class that I was in currently, which is my third period, which is the dopest class, I shall say, we decided to say, we don't care what they say, and we took our little happy butts outside. We talked about the issues, you know, we stood out there for 17 minutes, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so going off that topic, Thank I'm 18! Your birthday really shows, like, who your real friends are. Because, you know, like, some people will say happy birthday and some people won't. Oh, no, 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 no. All, like, people who I would consider my friends um, knew it's my birthday. And many of them said happy birthday to me. But, you know, it just shows, like, who your real friends are on your birthday, which is fine, which is great. I, I like to consider myself as someone who doesn't have friends at all, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, because... Well, that's room to the people who actually consider themselves your friends. Well, I mean... Let me say it like this. Mm, fix it. I, I'm a very independent person. And the people who are in my inner circle, which is not very many, know who they are. But I would still consider me as someone who doesn't have friends. I don't really think that made sense. But in my head, <laughs> <laughs> in my head, it made sense. So that's all that matters. I, if you're in my inner circle, I would consider you family because I trust you enough to allow you to be around me and be in my inner circle and tell you things. So I trust you in that sense. I would say 
you know I'm comfortable around you like you don't make me feel uneasy to the point where I feel like I you know I have to be watching my back every time I'm around you or watch what I say and there's very few people that I actually feel that with Oh, oh, oh. Was that how you supposed to do it? Oh, God! I guess that's not how you're supposed to do it either, huh? Waiting on you. Who's in there? I don't know. Is the one lady in there? Nikki's supposed to be waiting on you. I hope she's in there. She seemed cool. I like her. Alright, we're about to go get this tattoo. Oh, God. Oh, please wish me luck. Please wish me luck. Because she's mentally exhausted. exhausted. You use your right arm all the time. Well, then maybe that'll help it stop hurting. You know, like when you get a shot and then you have to keep moving your arm, it's good to get in your good arm because that's the arm you move all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, Jesus has blessed me with the sun that I don't need. All right, so we just got finished getting the tattoo. It's done. I'm not going to roll up my sleeve. Um, so... You know, the lady told us to wait like an hour or two. Then I could take it off, do all this extra stuff with it, whatever, whatnot. Um, so that was a very, um, uh, that was an experience. That was something. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is I'm not a big fan of needles. And I didn't know what to expect going into it because everyone's like, oh, it doesn't hurt. It's just irritating. And plus, you're not getting it in a sensitive spot. So you'll be fine. And, you know, I was like, I trust the people who told me this. But when I sat down and she started, I was like, I think she's digging a little too deep. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> but, then, but then I was like, I mean, she's the professional. So i like, she knows what she's doing. But I think. Like, after the first, like, five minutes at that point, I got used to it, and then I just got aggravated, because I was like, <laughs> I was like, look, 
Told you it was annoying. It's been like 30 minutes. I'm ready to go. This looks finished. Why are we not done? Why are you still digging a needle into my skin? Um, yeah, it was fun. So now we're going to go home. Then we're going to go find some balloons that say 18. Then I'm going to take some pictures so I can post them on Instagram because that's what you do. That's what I do, and that's the world nowadays. I do want seafood. Because tomorrow I have to eat this nasty pizza that they're about to make us eat. We don't have to eat pizza. I Get sure something. don't, and I'm not going to, actually. Get something else. Because I'm pretty sure last year they burned my pizza. And I was highly upset. But it was still burnt. If you're a pizza place, you should know how to not burn pizza. When you're cooking 30, 50 pizzas at one time for a bunch of kids. But wouldn't parents, it make sense that if they were having if they were having to cook that many that they would be undercooked before they'd be burnt? Maybe. Don't they have wings? I think we'll get wings. I don't know what they have. Or like I have some the menu on my phone. Oh. Buffalo style wings. I ain't getting no salad. I don't, I don't do that. I ain't getting no. I mean, how many wings do you get? It don't say. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't say. What? Stop making fun of me. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. <laughs> she won't. Yo, when she like. She's really cool. She is. She And she's really nice. I just love how I don't understand. Okay. I love how our family is like a comedy show no matter where we go because people are always laughing at us. <laughs> but personally, I think it's funny because we're not trying to be funny. That's just how we act and people just find it funny. We don't know whose food that is. Exactly. That could just belong to. Uh-huh. And you can be over taking pictures and somebody come out there with a shotgun. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, Yo, I'm driving the, sun, the getaway car. The but sun needs to make up its mind where it wants to be. In there? You back in the cut? It. You didn't see it. Oh, she said back in the cut. <laughs> I was waiting for you to realize nice that. Little, I heard it. I just was trying not to respond to it, but I just couldn't <laughs> let it go. Mama. What? That German Shepherd was staring at me like I did something wrong. You did. You looked at him. Look. Oh, he was so cute. Oh, now he's cute. Oh, he's so cute. How long do you think the sun's going to be out? Girl, have you not noticed the time jump forward? I know, but that So now at 7 o'clock when it normally gets dark, it's now 8 o'clock? Was it still light outside when I came out of Zumba last night? Yes, it was like 7.45, 7.50. No, it was not. Yes, it was. It was not light outside. What is yes, your definition of light? Um, not dark? Because if anything, it was dim. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it, was it wasn't light outside. I don't know what you're thinking. It was. Well, maybe I should read the book first. Uh uh, don't do that. Why? That that sometimes ruins everything. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it. That's why I always just watch the movies and, and never pay attention book. to the. Excuse me. Never pay Ew. attention. To the, excuse me. I am human. I can burp. Yeah.